All right, so the original intention going forward uh, was to not talk about Parlo or to make any sort of video on him. But recently, a situation has gone down with Parlo and some other people, people who he has made videos on. And some of you guys in the audience wanted me to talk about him and the situation. So I decided that I was going to come on here and talk about him. Now, if you know anything about me and Roblox YouTuber Parlo, I at one point was friends with this guy. That was around like 2022, I think early 2023. And this video by no means is to throw shit shade or anything like that. I just wanted to make that clear here because I really don't want drama. But I'll just keep it short and simple. The reason why I cut ties from Parlo, and I think he claimed that, you know, he cut ties from me. I feel like I heard that somewhere, but it's not true. Is because essentially I didn't like some of the things that he was doing and like the reporting that he was doing on other people. And it ended up with me cutting ties altogether. And since then, me and Parlo have had a lot of beefs on Twitter and stuff like that. And at this point, when it comes down to me and Parlo, I don't know if we're cool or not, but I mean, it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to like sort things out. Like I really don't care. I originally just wasn't going to talk about him like ever again or really even mention his name. But once I saw this situation that was going down with Parlo because of some videos that he made on other people, I just thought the situation was insane. Now I'm not immediately defending any side here, but recently for the people who are not aware, because I don't think everyone out there is watching Parlo, I'll be honest here, because he is a Roblox YouTuber and he does have a younger demographic. Parlo is known for making exposed videos videos on other people within the Roblox community. He exposes alleged predators, pedophiles, groomers, and stuff like that. And that's all he really does is just expose videos on other people. Now, he used to do more than just expose videos back in the past, but now it really only seems like he makes exposed videos on other people. And I can understand why, because exposed videos, of course, they get a lot of views. Like say, if I were to make a video on like Jack Doherty, exposed for being a pedophile or something, like people are going to click on that and they're going to watch it. And and they're quite frankly going to eat that shit up. And personally, because of this fact, in my opinion, I would just straight up call Parlo a Roblox drama channel. I'm not even really going to give him the benefit of the doubt and call him like a commentary, like a Roblox commentary YouTuber or anything like that. But like, once again, this is not throwing shade. Look at his videos and tell me this is not like drama, drama, drama content, right? Now, anyways, besides that point, posting many exposed videos, or I mean, frankly, just posting any exposed video on anybody because I made exposed videos on on people in the past like when it comes down to making exposed videos or just generally like making a video on somebody criticizing them not everyone is going to take that criticism or being exposed in a good way and they could retaliate that's something that's always in the back of my head when i'm making an exposed video or i'm like making a commentary video on somebody else where i criticize or say bad things about them because you just never know how these people could retaliate because in this case right here it looks like he made some exposed videos on people regardless if the information is correct or or not, regardless if it's defamation or if it's truth, these videos will paint them in a bad light and it will ruin their reputations. Now, when it comes down to the situations that have gotten Parlo into this mess that we're going over right now, I really don't know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. I don't know if the guys who Parlo is exposing have been defamed or not, or if what Parlo is saying is actually true 100%. But recently, Parlo has made videos on Guamgo, That Board Gamer, Seb Motions, and other Roblox content creators. And essentially, what happened after this was these people who he was exposing came together to form a group called the PRM, which is like, I think it stands for Parlophobic Resistance Movement or something. Yeah, these guys essentially came together claiming that they have been on the receiving end of defamatory statements and videos by Parlo, and they're really not too happy with Parlo, and now they're maliciously attacking Parlo's channel. Now, once again, like I said earlier in my video, I'm not exactly sure what went down between these people and Parlo. At least, I don't know like the, the full content context, but as far as I'm aware, Seb Motions got accused of being a pedophile or something like that, and Seb Motions is saying that that's not true, things were twisted, things like that. That board gamer had a similar situation. Guamgo was apparently accused of showing an image of CP Live. I think it was on Parlo's stream. I don't know exactly all the details, and that's allegedly, by the way, that's allegedly. And uh, because of this, they had formed the Parlophobic Resistance Movement to, I guess, get back at Parlo and to expose him because apparently he was lying. Now, I'm not exactly sure, like, like I said, who's in the right, who's in the wrong. But all I do know is that Parlo does not have the best track record. If you know anything about him defaming Psydice, that's just one of the examples. And as far as I'm aware, Psydice and Parlo are cool now, like Parlo apologized, but I don't really know how I feel about that overall. Because the main reason why I cut off Parlo was because of that situation, because he was defaming Psydice, and it wasn't very cool. Now, anyways, I know I haven't gotten to the point quite yet, but I just had to give some very much needed context there for you guys, especially for the 
people who have no idea what is going on. But we talked about this like a minute or two ago about the whole retaliation aspect. And uh, yeah, in this situation, I think it's safe to say that they retaliated. So this tweet comes from Samuel. He's uh, another commentary YouTuber. And he said, Parlo has received a third strike against his YouTube channel and he has claimed is false with him stating that people are pretending to own GFX artwork to strike his channel. He has claimed on Discord, this is Guamgo, that board gamer and others silencing him. And then Samuel provides some screenshots here from Parlo's Discord server in which Parlo says, at everyone, I've received a third false strike and now I cannot upload. So yeah, when it comes down to getting three strikes on your channel, regardless if it's like a community guideline strike or a copyright strike, YouTube has these systems where it's like, if you get three strikes, you're out. So getting three strikes, your channel gets terminated essentially. And as you guys can see right here, three copyright strikes, account termination is on hold in which they're saying that they will terminate his channel soon. Now what you have to do to stop this, because it's copyright strikes, if it was community guideline strikes, the channel would have already been terminated. What you do have to do is you have to get at least one of these strikes off the channel in order to save the channel. And how you do that is you're going to, I, I forget if it's disputing it or if it's appealing it, but you're going to have to do that. And when you do that, YouTube sends your information to the person who striked you. And what the person has to do from there is they have to take that information and they have to sue you and they have to take you to court essentially. Now, if they don't decide to do that, or as far as I'm aware, if they like retract the strike because they weren't trying to sue you over this, then the strike gets removed. And I know for a fact that these guys are not going to sue because I mean, these guys probably do not have money. And if you're not aware, if you're suing somebody, you need money, you need lawyers. He puts out this tweet and says, at team YouTube, my YouTube channel is being mass false striked by people pretending to own my GFX artwork. I cannot upload and now my channel is subject to termination because of this. Can you please help me because my videos are protected by fair use and these strikes are false. Now, Parlo might be right in this situation, but trying to get team YouTube to help you out, like it's just not going to work because if you have somebody copyright striking your content, like YouTube's not going to touch that because they don't want to get sued themselves. So you have to be the one to resolve it essentially. And team YouTube will literally tell you like they cannot help you at all. And all you really can do is just dispute it. And then if these people are not willing to take it to court, then it gets dropped. Now this all came out yesterday. He wasn't able to upload and whatnot. And a little bit later in the day, he was actually able to get one of the strikes lifted, giving him the ability to post on his channel again. And that's when he made this video right here. Please help me. So recently I have received two full strikes from people involved in Guamgo's friend circle in a drastic attempt to try and silence my channel and deplatform me. Keep in mind, if you receive free strikes by YouTube, then your channel gets entirely terminated. And this can result in me losing my livelihood and a significant amount of money. This whole situation has put me through a horrific mental breakdown yesterday, complicated by so idle thoughts, in which people like Guamgo have proceeded to mock and completely make fun of, which is disgusting. Now, okay, as much as people are not going to want me to be like this, and frankly, I don't really give a fuck, while striking this guy and then like making fun of him for breaking his monitor and having like a mental fucking breakdown when his fucking channel is being deleted, like you're literally scum. And I don't even like Parlo. Like I I'll flat out say it. I do not like Parlo. But in this situation, like what are you trying to do? Just destroy Parlo or are you trying to look good? Because you're not looking good at all. So this all started with a user called Anabe who is known as Sugio Niku. Now keep in mind, this Anabe person is friends with Dupe, with Dupe even admitting this himself. And Dupe is involved in friend circles with Guamgo and the entire PRM movement in which is made specifically against me. Now Anabe threatens to essentially full strike my channel and this is the same person who has my docs information to and admitted to this. And on April the 4th, she struck down my Clown Xiao video because I had used Clown Xiao's profile picture for one second. And the thing is, she owned no copyright to the image whatsoever. She lied about being the original artist of Clown Xiao's public profile picture and issued a full strike to try and terminate my channel. Keep in mind, I have no idea how this strike was even allowed to go through and I'm disgusted by YouTube's terrible copyright system. And Anabe even admitted to people that the strike she sent to me was false. I mean, it's no secret that YouTube's copyright system is pretty fucking bad. And uh, when it comes down to striking people for using their profile pictures or like their GFX work in like like say a commentary video. I'm not exactly sure if the person who was striking him owned the rights to that profile picture or not, but even if they did, like it would be covered under fair use because the whole video isn't about this GFX work and it's not like constantly being shown throughout the video for long periods of time or anything like that. And Parlo is adding his own commentary. And the whole reason why that image is being shown in the first place is because it provides context to who he is talking about. So yeah, definitely a false strike and that's not right. Now for those 
aware, I had made a video as well on that board gamer, proving how the image he had posted in his document is illegally considered a CP, while also calling him out for having myself images uncensored in his defamatory document on me, as well as addressing and defending myself from other situations he had brought up. Now in the video, I had included 3 seconds of Seb Motions' is That Board Gamer GFX. Seb Motions, for those who don't know, is someone who was 17 years of age and essentially gay-baited a 13-year-old into what the 13-year-old believed to be a legitimate relationship, while behind the scenes snakily making fun of the 13-year-old and bullying them, so he essentially emotionally manipulated a child. Additionally, Seb Motions had also also attempted to defame me as a predator in the past. Now this Seb Motions person is someone who's openly friends with that board gamer on Guamgo, as he is associated in Discord group chats with them too, and is part of the PRM movement against me. And he had basically decided to strike down my entire 52 minute video, which cohesively proved how that board gamer had posted CP, due to having 3 seconds of his public Roblox GFX artwork in it. And keep in mind, this strikey issue to me is entirely false. Now I'm not taking sides here, but in my opinion, I don't believe that Parlo is the most credible person, and I've seen him twist things before in the past, so I'm not too sure on the situation, and if what Parlo is saying is totally 100% true, but something that I just do not understand, like, okay, you don't like Parlo because you claim that he's spreading, like, false information about you and trying to ruin your career and whatnot, and he's making you look bad, and he's potentially, I guess, what you would say, I'm guessing, twisting things out of anything you could do to get back at Parlo because you believe that he's just slandering you and destroying your character? Why would would you retaliate in a way that makes you look 10 times worse? Like, that's what I don't understand. It, it just, it, it blows my mind. It really does. I don't understand how these people act, okay? Yeah, sure, he used your, uh, your little profile picture character thingy, whatever you want to call it, but did you not think before you put in the strike? Because if you did, you would realize that this would be covered under fair use. And when it comes down to solely just caring about, like, him using your little graphic, I don't think that's the only thing that motivated you to make this strike. I mean, you obviously want to get back at Parlo because, you know, you believe that he's been defaming you and what he is saying isn't true. But I just don't understand trying to remove videos that make you look bad from his channel and what thought process you had while doing that. Because, like, I would like to hope if you actually thought about what you were doing before you did it and some of the consequences that could come from it, maybe you would have thought, maybe this wouldn't be, like, the best idea to go after this guy and get his videos removed and try to get him deplatformed, let alone that if he does do a counter notification, like, it's gonna get dropped because you're not gonna sue him because it's like what I said before you're only making it worse for yourself doing this and what you're trying to do just is not gonna work and my video was completely protected by YouTube's fair use policy as it was a transformative documentary style video essentially criticizing the actions of these terrible people so now currently I have two illegal full strikes on this channel because I had used already public Roblox GFX images on my channel for merely a couple of seconds and this was done to silence me and attempt to aid that board gamer because my video had literally systematically proved how he committed a crime of distributing CSEM material of a minor uncensored in his document on page 19. Now after I'd received this strike, I started feeling extremely unwell physically and mentally and started crying and having a mental breakdown, resulting in me having broken my computer monitor and establishing to my server that I was feeling very suicidal as this could literally result in my entire platform and livelihood being stripped away due to people maliciously using the copyright system to silence me. You know, with me being an outsider and looking into the situation and not really knowing everything that has happened all the way up until this point, something that I do know is maybe you wouldn't have these issues if you weren't making all of these exposed videos exposing people. Yeah, I know there are bad people out there who need to be exposed, people who shouldn't have platforms like pedophiles, groomers, and like abusers and all that type type of stuff. Like, yeah, they definitely should be exposed and they should not have platforms. But it seems like literally every video of yours is like outing the next predator every day. And it's weird. It really is. Let alone that you're a Roblox YouTuber with a very young audience. And it's like, all I'm trying to say here is that maybe you wouldn't be having these issues with people trying to take down your channel and having a new drama every day if you would just calm down and make other content besides, oh, this person exposed, new pedophile, new predator has been outed today or something. I don't know. Like, this is what happens if your whole channel is about exposing, like, predators and stuff like that. Like, these people are definitely going to, like, come back at you for you essentially ruining them. And it's like, I also don't understand. It's like, you say they have CSAM or CSAM, whatever. Either one. They're both really bad. You accuse people of having this. You have evidence of this, allegedly. I don't see why you just wouldn't go to, like, the FBI or, like, the police or something. Like, of course, making videos on people, like, exposing them for doing things like this, allegedly. You know, it will 
it'll destroy their career and they'll be exposed for doing that kind of stuff but it doesn't get rid of them like they could literally go and keep doing this over and over and over again because they're not being arrested or anything or being banned from using the internet it's like i just don't understand it it seems like parlo is doing this more for the content aspect and grilling people rather than actually trying to get these people like off the internet and away from children like i just will never understand not giving this to the authorities and letting them handle it because you're not the police you're not the authorities you're not the fbi and you don't have the same assets or knowledge to be able to get this person and put them behind bars at least if they've done really bad things like i don't understand why everything has to be drama and like put out there like just to destroy somebody's career over actually getting them arrested like i'll never understand it now that board gamer also attempts to try and defend the full strike by stating i needed permission to use the image which i had included in my video for merely three seconds despite the fact that i do not and it is entirely in my right to include it in the video under fair use yeah i'm sorry that board gamer we know why you use this to take the video down and we know why you're doing this like nobody's stupid i understand your frustration with you having a video made on you and regardless of what parlo was saying was true or defamatory you shouldn't have taken that video down you're blatantly misusing the copyright system and that's fucked up and it also is not a good look for you like what do you care about do you care about your reputation and getting over this or do you care about just getting rid of parlo even though it's not going to work unless you're taking him to court which you would lose in court because it's fair use like i'm not sure if you guys realize this or not seb motions that board gamer guam go if you're trying to look good you look fucking terrible because when it comes down to abusing the copyright system here on youtube a lot of people especially in the commentary community don't take that lightly so yeah good job for doing that and also like i said earlier when he puts in his counter notification and you don't sue him it's getting dropped so this was pointless this just makes you look stupid like neither side in the situation parlo or prm look good because i feel like parlo could have easily avoided a situation like this if he didn't make all these fucking exposed videos on people and if he really actually found some damning shit he should just taken it to like the fbi or like the authorities and then he wouldn't be dealing with a situation like this and when it comes down to prm and them claiming that they've been defamed false striking parlo is not helping your case and it makes you look 10 times worse let alone that you strike them for putting one image in his video for like maybe three seconds like both sides are wrong in this situation i'm not taking any sides this isn't to defend anyone but i do believe that parlo breaking a monitor and having a mental breakdown because his channel was about to be terminated was 100 justified regardless of what anybody's going to say because like he said that's his livelihood and it is for a lot of creators so yeah honestly l parlo l prm nobody wins in the situation and uh yeah i think i'm gonna be wrapping up the video right there thank you guys so much for watching if you guys happen to enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe so the video gets promoted more in the algorithm so more people will see it thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel your support really means the world to me and i really do appreciate it now with that all being said don't fall strike people and also don't make your whole channel about exposing other people and then maybe you wouldn't have issues my name is brion and i will see you in my next video peace